Question 31, what is the midpoint of the coordinates 2 comma 10 and 4 comma 6? Now there is a slow way of doing this and there is a quick way of doing this. We're actually going to do it in the quick way first. So the quick way is to write the two coordinates out, leave a gap in between them, and then you basically go in the middle of the first two numbers. So we want them to make a third coordinate. So in the middle of two and four, that is obviously going to be three. And then you go in the middle of the second two numbers. So in the middle of six and ten is going to be eight. If you can't see what's in the middle of the numbers, there is a way of working it out. So you can just add the numbers together. So two add four is six, and then just half it. Two add four is six, half of it is three. That's where three comes from. 10 and 6 is 16, half of it is 8, so that's where the 8 comes from. So 3 comma 8 is going to be the midpoint. So final answer, 3 comma 8. But as I say, that is the quick way. Just to prove to you that the slow way would also work, you could actually draw it out. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. So if you draw a pair of axes, plot the points you're given. So 2 comma 10 would be there. 4 comma 6 would be there. And then if you join those with a line, the midpoint would be the middle of that line. And the middle of that line, as you can see, is going to be there. And that point is, if you read it all the way down, is 3 and so three across the bottom, and it's going to it's level with eight up the side. So as you can see, three comma eight. Now it didn't take too long that didn't it? We have got the same answer. Um, we do it the quick way, but yeah, you don't have to draw anything. You don't have to draw a pair of axes. Just go in the middle of the first two numbers, and then in the middle of the second two numbers, and then that will give you a midpoint.